Hi everybody, it's Kristen, and today I'm going to start the next installment in my Four Looks One palette. And the palette that I'm going to be using for this is the Pure Minerals Secret Crush palette. This is a beautiful palette, just, I mean, just even to look at, but we'll talk about that more to the end. If, the, if you are new to Four Looks One palette, this is a series that I do, and I have roughly 30, give or take, of them. I will link a playlist for you below in case you're curious if there's a palette out there that I've done this with. And this is, this is going to be a little bit of a trick for me. There is no, uh, when I do a Four Looks One palette, I stick to the palette. I don't use any bases. I don't use any other shades. I stick to the palette. And there's no transition color in this. So we're, we're I'm, it's, I'm taking me out of my zone a little bit. Uh, all right. So for the first look, I used this shade right here, which is a beautiful sort of rose coppery gold sort of shade. And I blended that out with the bone color right here, which is a matte. And then I took on this Sigma brush. This is one of the Sigma brushes I've never found a dupe for. This is an E36. It's very kind of a wispy brush. I used that in the crease as well to kind of help transition. And I did that after I put some of this black shade in the outer corner and blended it in. So um, I will do, oh, and also, sorry, I used the Kat Von D black liner on my lash line and smudged that out with this black as well and then took it just a little bit above the lash line. I used the rose gold beneath my lower lash line and then um, also used some of that black on the outer two thirds. Having said that, I will zoom you in. All right, so here's the look. On my cheeks today, I use the MAC blush in at dusk. It's one of my favorite in dimension blushes from them. And then on my lips, I used a combination actually of two Pure Minerals. I thought I would use some of my Pure Minerals stuff in this video. And it's a kind of a lip gloss, but with a little more pigment. I will list the actual name below. This is one is in Scandalous, and this one is in Exposed. And I use a combination of those, believe it or not, to get that lip. For my second look, I first took this shade all the way on the end here, which is kind of a creamy, almost white shade with a little bit of sparkle in it. And I packed that all over the lid. You don't really see the sparkle so much, but I packed that all over the lid. And then on a fluffy dual fiber brush like this from MAC, which is a 286, you can see how it's not quite as dense on the top there. I took this sort of rose gold, well not sort of, this rose gold coppery shade right here, and I laid that down in the crease. On the outer corner then, I took this shade right here, and I had already put down this creamy white there, so I wanted to kind of lighten it up a little bit. So I took that shade there and just kind of laid it down and really blended it out. And then on a pointed pencil brush, I took this matte brown right here, put that in, in the real inner part of the crease there, you'll see when I zoom in, and then blended that out. And then beneath my lower lash line, I took a combination of this brown and then this shade right here, blended those together on my brush, and then put it beneath my lower lash line, and then deepened up just the outer corner with that brown. Um, I think that is everything, so I will zoom you in. Here's the look. For liner today, I went actually to one that I haven't used very often because the brown that I have in my Use It Up stash was a little bit too warm for what I wanted for this. So anyway, I took the Urban, or no, the Bare Mineral Smoke and Define. It's a double-ended. It has a liquid on the one end, like a felt liner. Um, but on the other end is the deep brown. So that's the liner that I used. It was a lot of explanation for it. it's a brown liner. <laughs> and then on my cheeks today, I have the Pure Minerals Blush. In Sassy, if I can open, I will show you, it looks like that. It has some um, sheen and sparkle to it, but you don't really see that. You just see a little bit of a glow on the cheek, which is nice. And then on my lips, I have MAC Lip Liner in Spice. I have MAC Lipstick in Taupe, which looks like that. I've worn this one in a long time. And then over the top, just to give it a little more something, I use the Camp Cosmetics Lip Lava in Trist. Okay, for the third look, um, it kind of started out one way and went another way. That's just the way it goes sometimes. But <laughs> I have this shade right here all over the lid. And it pulled just a little bit differently than I really wanted it to. Um, so what I ended up doing, actually, is putting this shade at the end over on top of that and just kind of blending it together on my lid just to give it a little different shift. 
And then on a real fluffy brush, a MAC 224, I used this brown in the crease and then pulled it with the brush in the palette actually, just a little bit down on the outside corner and have that beneath my lower lash line as well. And then I just have the Urban Decay liner in, I think it's bourbon, nope, Demolition, on my upper lash line and upper tight line. And I think that's it, except for I have the shade of my brow bone, and then this one just at the very top of my, or beneath my brow. So I'll zoom you in. Okay, so here's the look. So on the rest of my face, I have actually a pure, one of the Pure Minerals blushes, and this is the one in Tees. I love this shade of pink, so pretty. I actually, believe it or not, I don't have a lot of shades in this, in this, uh, I don't have a lot of blushes in this sh sort of shade. Game. And then on my lips today, I have the Pure Minerals in A-Lister, really pretty pink. And then I just wanted a touch of gloss over the top of that, so I put on a little bit of the Camp Cosmetics Lip Lava in Game On. For my fourth and final look, I started by taking the Tarte Skinny Smolder Eyes in Onyx and putting that all over, not all over, <laughs> putting that on my lash line. And then I used a pencil brush. This is the It Cosmetics one. I really like this one because it has some nice density to it. And it's the number 124. And I just really smudged that into my lash line and smoked it kind of up a little bit. I like to do this sort of technique every once in a while. And then I took this shade right here and I put that all over the lid, then took a clean MAC 217 and really just blended that into the crease. I then used a pencil brush, a little bit of a fluffier pencil brush, in this brown, put that in the outer corner and blended that up. And then beneath my lower lash line, I lined it with, I lined my lower waterline with the Marc Jacobs blacker first and then used a pencil brush with the same shade beneath my lower lash line. On the outer corner, I combined the black and the brown to, and then blended that in. Whew, that was a mouthful. Oh, and then <laughs> used this shade right here, of course, to blend everything out and up into the brow bone and just a little bit of the end shade right here in my inner corner. So I will zoom you in. All right, so here's the look. On the rest of my face today, I used one of my MAC, favorite MAC blushes right here in Blush All Day. Just a nice kind of neutral. I wear it a lot when I do kind of smokier looks like this. And then I took a little bit of the Becca Highlight in Moonstone. Right there where you put a highlight. And then on my lips today, I have the Bobbi Brown, I think it's a lip, Rich Lip Cream, Rich Lip Color in Nude Rose, which looks like that. All right, so let's have some swatches. And I have to tell you, I just went to grab the box to do this video, and the names of the shades are on the back of the box. I could have been referencing the names the whole video. It's <laughs> the way my life goes sometimes. So from left to right, this is Whisper, Lust, Passion, and Muse. All right, so Whisper, Lust, Passion, and Muse. And the last four are Admirer, which is my favorite, Infatuation, Rendezvous, and Rumor. So Admirer, look at that, <laughs> Infatuation, Rendezvous, and Rumor. And I will say this, both Rendezvous and Rumor apply to the eye much better than they swatch. Um, just as an FYI, like this doesn't look very dark, but when you put it on your on your eye, it's much darker than that. So just kind of an FYI. All right, so of those shades, for all intents and purposes, four of them are matte. Three of them look matte, and one of them really is more matte. So Rumor and Rendezvous for certain are matte, and Lust is matte. Now Whisper, if you look very closely, not sure if you'll be able to tell. It has a little bit of like glitter to it, but when you swatch it or apply it on the eye, you really don't see much of that. But technically, Lust, Rendezvous, and Rumor, so this kind of pinky sh cream shade here, the brown and the black, are the ones that are matte. And the other ones all have a nice metallic um, sheen to them, not glitter, but just a really nice sheen. These wore amazingly well. I really was impressed with this. And by the way, I don't remember if I said at the beginning of this, this palette was sent to me by Pure Minerals, but as you guys know, <laughs> makes no effect on, on what I think. 
I was really, I started out kind of my interest in um, pyramidal started out when I bought the Soul Mattes palette. Really kind of fell in love with that and started kind of playing around with the line a little bit more. And um, when they sent me this one, it, I just I just had to do a Four Looks One palette with it because these shades are all about me right here. The only, you know, the one thing I wanted to mention, by the way, is this shade right here. So this was the shade in Muse. That one swatches much lighter, and I think I mentioned that when I used that one, much lighter than it looks in the pan and a little more rosy than it looks in the pan. So there it is beneath it right there. And I just want to show you kind of on its own how it definitely looks different. I think it looks more like this one, but that's the one that I swatched there in the pan. So just kind of an FYI on that, but these blended out very well. They blended on top of each other very well. Um, and like I said, wore very well. I always do, for those of you that might be new, I normally do a primer of some sort, like a Bare Minerals is what I'm using right now, Urban Decay Primer Potion, something like that. I use MAC Panelite Paint Pot over the top of that. That is what I have to do because I have very oily eyelids. Um, so yeah, really impressed with this. I highly recommend it. I believe that it sells for $32 if I remember the price correctly. I'll of course have it listed below. And it can be purchased at Ulta and I believe can also be purchased on Pure Minerals website. Any other place that I can find for you, I will list it below as well. So I always keep the same thing on my face throughout all of my four looks. And what I was wearing, of course, was my Bourjois Healthy Mix for my foundation. Oh, for primer, by the way, I was wearing the Embryolis Le, Cre Le Creme. Le creme, le creme, concentrate. And for um, concealer, I've been using up my CoverGirl and Olay. They don't sell this anymore, but that's what I was using. For foundation over the top, I was using the Pure Minerals 4-in-1 foundation. And I'm in the shade Light. Really have been enjoying this as well. For contour, I was wearing the Camp Cosmetics Blush and Monogamy. Monogamy. Spit it out, game. And for bronzer... I feel like my light is coming through in a funny way right now. I turned my camera just a little bit because all of a sudden the sun is coming through in strange ways. <laughs> I use my Guerlain Terracotta Four Seasons in Nude for my bronzer all week long. And lastly for mascara, I was using the CoverGirl Professional Super Thick Lash Mascara. The only difference is today I use the Clinique Lash Power on my lower lash line. When I smoke it out, a when I smoke out my eyes, I like to do a little bit more defined lash down there. So, all right. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.